Hello everybody, Hasboy82 here, and today we're back with another video. And today's video is definitely going to be a little different. Definitely going to be a little more interesting, I feel like. Because today we're taking a look at Clam, the G.I. Joe fucking O-Ring figures, the, the new O-Ring figures, the line that they have seemingly already killed, already given up on, on hold temporarily. Or, hang on, it's not even that, it's it's on hold till further notice, which basically means they killed it. I hope not, because I've got some things to say. Well, I'm going to open this and i got some things to say, but I'm hoping it's not like perma killed. Let's go ahead and get this one fully open. What an interesting place to take. Oh, I guess it's not tape, it's reinforcement. That's fucking weird. Huh. Weird. What a weird little box they've made. I guess this is the way to open up from the top. This box doesn't matter. Like, it's cool. That's cool art, but this is dumb. This was a dumb thing to make this cost more than it should have. I feel like I'd have much preferred just getting... Just getting... Yeah, these. It's actually very nice looking, and you better believe I'm bust these bubbles open. Let's look at them for a second before I do that, because, like, that is nice. You know, that is a nice little card, but I mean, these bubbles are just too big and too strange. Like, this would never in a million years pass for a retro. So, you know, like, this car, as nice as the card is. Ew, what is that? I didn't do that. Unless I did do that, maybe accidentally did that. Yeah, I don't know. Very interesting. But never in a million bazillion years is that ever gonna pass for. Okay, so I see how they did that now. Well, I kinda wish I didn't tear that up like that, but oh well. They made that hard as fuck to not tear up to get this stupid little foot locker out. and just rip that open. It's already all ripped up. Very nice. Have it would very nice little nice amount of extras. We'll look at those after we get the figures out of their fingers. What I'm gonna say is this O-ring line, I was really looking forward to. They did a HasLab. I didn't back to HasLab because I was broke. But, you know, I was really hoping they'd have kept this line up. They they made a lot of interesting things. You know, these, the Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, the two, the Cobra Officer and Cobra Command, the Cobra Officer and Cobra Trooper, and all the figures that are coming with the G.I. Joe Transformer collabs. Um... A lot of interesting stuff there. A lot of interesting stuff there. And I just wish they would have kept it up. I understand people complained a lot, like, blah, 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 blah. and that kind of made it hard to, like, keep up. Like, they did do dumb things. Like, the Snake Eyes pack and Storm Shadow pack basically came with nothing. Um, and there was a lot of QC issues with the Cobra Officer and Cobra Trooper. And that's real. Those are all valid complaints. But this line just felt like it was kind of doomed to people who weren't gonna say it's too different to be the original line. Despite that's kind of the point, they're not using the original like figure molds. But what I wanna say, what they did with this batch, this, uh, well, I guess this two pack, oh, well, I really but butchered that one. I like, these aren't supposed to be the vintage figure. These are supposed to be based off the Sunbow line. And you know what? I bet they could have, there was a very promising future where Instead of doing these based off the vintage figures, they do one based off the Sunbow figures. Like, I love this Cobra Commander. That silver neck is really just doing it all for me. This rifle, however, I mean, I don't... He, it's probably episode specific, or maybe this is vintage figure specific. I'm not sure. But uh, I don't think this, he, he would ever use something like that. He would never use a rifle. Rifles are kind of too big for this man. He's a pistol boy through and through. Can I get this? How do we get this thing out of here? Oh man, 
this already feels so good. I'm sorry, like these, and that's another thing is I, the way these feel is just fucking divine. It's so, it saddens me to no end that they're like, they've killed it. I think if they refresh it and continue this style of, hey, everything is gonna be based off the Sunbow cartoon, I think that would be leagues better than what they got going. Oh man, I'm sorry that like, oh, the actual O-ring in there just feels so fucking good. And the joints feel already so fucking good. Already so good. So good. Yeah, this is why I wish they didn't fucking kill this line. Because the, these figures have such an amazing construction. If there's no QC, which... No, 90 degree bend. And by the way, I heard most people were able to get their Cobra officer and troopers to 90 degree bend after, like, playing around with them. Oh, it just feels so good. So damn good. You'll never get it till you get like a box of just O-rings to fuck around with. I have yet to do that. These are my like O-rings to mess with and I need to get more. Probably gonna get that Stalker Bumblebee and maybe the Hiss Tank plus uh, Baroness. Yeah, that's very, that's just great. Good articulation all around. Some of the best figures ever made. It's very shame that like they just gave up on them. I hope that's not permanent. I hope maybe that's just related to COVID delays. Like, for instance, those who don't know, the reason we've been getting, like, just nonstop G.I. Joe figures for, like, the last year, like, just blam, eight figures, blam, eight figures, blam, eight figures every couple months, that's all COVID backup. That's all stuff from fucking COVID delays. And now that that's all caught up on, we're supposed to be seeing less. We're supposed to get a more normalized, like, hey, not a million figures in one year very happy for that because i am let me tell you my wallet can't handle a million figures in one year um so i'm hoping maybe thanks to now that covid delays are over we can start seeing these more normalized and i think this should be the direction they take it like hey you know what we're not going to base them off the vintage figure because you people bitch too much about that we are going to instead do hey it's the vintage figure but also no colors like i get it the plastic is not as shiny everything is a little different um i just don't want to see this line fail because I'm a big fan of that, like, Motu Origins line, and despite having none, because they are so hard to buy, they are so hard to get, I didn't just jump in right away, so I missed way too many figures, and right now they just, they're hard to get. So I'm not getting in that line, because there's too many I want, that I, there's no way for me to get at retail, and I'm just, it's not happening. Unfortunately, very unfortunate, so we're just going to have to... Just gonna have to not deal with that. But th those are cool. These are super cool. These are, like, what makes me think, man, I hope they continue... Well, anyways, let's pop little Duke's helmet out. Not a very helmeted figure in my mind. Oh my god, there's a little helmet's in there, in there. Get out of there! Okay, we got that out of there. The nice, uh, standard helmet. The, even the holes for the visor, which that vintage Duke figure for classifieds has a visor attached. I don't know if I'll keep that attached, but that's very cool. Now this I love, uh, the Snowjob rifle, it, but also the fucking whole rifle from the entirety of the Sunbow cartoon. Everybody used this. If they weren't using this, they are using a specialty weapon like uh, Scarlet's bow and arrow. Or not bow and arrow, Scarlet, Scarlet's crossbow and the javelin thrower that uh, that uh, Lady J had. You know, stuff like that. We got Duke out, and he actually <laughs> did not give any resistance. All right, let's look at that face, because a lot of people have had problems with Duke's face. And yes, mine has that problem. Maybe I need to balance out these lights. This is like the first time I think I've ever had to mess with my lighting. Yeah, his eyes, these eyes are printed on there so fucked, man. Like, damn. I'm sorry, I'm looking at this off camera so I can actually get a feel for it. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't... He's hitting, like, with that sloth from the Goonies face, and that's just super unfortunate. That's that's a real problem. That's... I don't know how that even happens. I don't even know. That was kind of upsetting. Like, I get it. These guys never really had perfect faces in the vintage line, but that's just... Like, in the original line, but this is unacceptable. This is, like... Like I said, he hitting with that sloth from the Goonies face... It's like crazy. It looks even worse, like off camera. I don't even know how this happens. It's definitely a print and or sculpt issue. I don't even know. I don't even know. 
good figure though besides that love the colors love the love the o-wing feel love it all except for that fucking slot from the goonies face man i don't even know what to do about that nothing to be done i suppose let's i like that they made the thumbs softer so those don't break off that was like one big thing of this line did so yeah i'm thinking like maybe they could do this line again or not do this line again. They could keep this line going if they just were like chill and were like, okay, we're not vintage figuring nothing because you people can't complain too much because they do. And uh, so instead we are going to do it all based off Sunbow looks. And this is perfect, except for this face, this isn't perfect. But it, it, minus that, everything else is perfect about this figure. Unfortunate, very common, I don't even know. Guess complain to Hasbro and see what happens of it. Probably nothing. Uh, probably nothing for real, because, like, you guys even have, like, fucking barcodes? Yes, they do. They're back here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure I could make a stink of it to Hasbro, but this last stink I made to Hasbro about my fucking... About my poor at bastard Firefly has received nothing. Ooh. Wow. I hope I didn't just send something fucking flying. Okay, we're gonna have to cut camera. We'll come back. Okay, so I'm not gonna open those bags like that anymore. I did send something flying. These stupid straps to J uh, Duke's jetpack. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of the straps to the jetpack. What else is in here? His binoculars. His uh, bazooka, which isn't like something I actually came with. but And his backpack. Big fan. Big fan. Big fan. I hope I didn't miss anything else because it also went fine. We'll figure it out after we open all these up. Okay, now here's the jetpack pack separately. I like the jetpack. I love the jetpack. Alright, here's this base, which doesn't work with these figures because these were made with the anniversary line, not this line. So that's upsetting. Here is the base that should have came with him. The Cobra Commander stuff, which is a little warm. Let's just de-warp that a bit. I love that. That's a fun accessory. See, that's another thing that's good about these figures. You get a lot of, like, Sunbow-specific accessories. Like, accessories that didn't come with the vintage figures. So I like that. A lot of nonsense. Comes with Cobra Commander. His big old... This is the vintage figure one that actually plugs into his back. These are the ones that come, his, his Cobra binoculars, which I like that. That's a fun little, fun little thinger. A lot of people, it's funny because I actually recognize these like straight off the back. You have, and also like people say these are Sunbow. I honestly think these are more movie inspired and this is going to be why I'm going to say that. This is a detonator he uses in the movie. I'll see if I can add like a frame of that in. And this is the detonator from the movie, the one that he flies in and puts on the Statue of Liberty. And then Duke, with his jetpack, flies back and straps underneath that big uh, Cobra transport ship and blows it up because it's about to go off. And actually, hang on, that's not what this isn't a detonator because this bomb didn't have it, it was just time. This is something else, and it's from, I think, an episode, not the movie. But this is from the movie for sure. This might be from a later point in the movie. I'm going to have to look now. I really am going to have to look. And here's the last of the accessories. This is another thing that's going to make me say this is, these are movie-specific. This is a movie-specific uh, batch of figures, or bunch right here. And that's this flagpole that comes with, uh, comes with Duke, which uh, I don't know how to feel about. Because this is a weird little, like, I don't know, vinyl. It's weird. Okay, so this goes this way for real loud. That doesn't plug in as deep as I thought. Kind of looks oversized because I thought it would plug in more, but I guess that looks right sized, I guess. I don't know. But all that just so it could fucking plug in this base. This pisses me off. This is a dumb accessory. If it just was all this and another one of these, I actually would prefer that more. But here's this. What the hell? Sorry about that. I was just going off about my thing, and then the thing just, my camera decided to tell me, hey, plug me in and cut my footage in a stupid way. Anyway, it's not important. This is this is a dumb accessory. This is really dumb. This doesn't work. This is too much. This just is weird. Like, I get it. it. It's cute. It's like, oh, like the movie. Except if you're not going to implement it in, like, a correct way, then don't even bother. Literally, just don't even bother. How hard is that for them to understand? Anyways, let's try and plug this thing in, which I've seen people say it leaves a huge gap, and I believe it, because... Because, yeah, that leaves a huge gap, and that just makes me wish they didn't design it with straps. 
because if they didn't design it with straps i mean maybe i can later go and saw like a quarter of that off so this will plug flat against the back which actually is probably what i'm gonna end up doing because i'm not i don't like this this is stupid this is dumb looking let's go ahead and get that on there i guess i just don't like it it looks dumb can we get that This is dumb. But I'm kind of, I got those in there, and you're not gonna believe how stupid and just like how long that took, and how I'm about to rip that off there once this is done, and I am never plugging that back in there ever again, never again, because it looks so dumb. I like the jetpack. I love the jetpack, so I'm gonna shave a bit of that nub off there so it'll sit flush against his back, and that stu these stupid straps are never seeing the light of day again. My God, that just took fucking an eternity to get on there, and it just. For what, man? Like, so he can have these on? Like, I get it. I believe that is what these looked like in the movie when he was doing the flight scene, but it's just unnecessary, I feel like. <sighs> unnecessary, and I hate they tooled the whole fucking back, the whole jetpack around it. Because, yeah, look, now it looks like it's, like, flush, but not really, because it's these stupid straps. Let's go ahead and put his helmet on. I feel like it'd be a little unsafe to fly a jetpack without a helmet on. Yeah, okay. That looks good. Um, let's get that off, because and let's, all that work for what? For me to show it for two seconds and rip it off, because that's never going back on there ever again. Oh, man. Yeah, that's, that's going to be fun to get off. <sighs> about as fun to get on and is about as fun to get off. Sounds about right. Come on, don't make me cut the camera again. I'll just to do this for like five minutes off camera. Okay, we got that off. And you know what I just realized is I totally did lose his fucking the vintage Duke rifle because of the way that fucking pack shot open on me. But yeah, got that stupid thing off. Let's plug the regular backpack in. Actually, hang on. Before I do that, I want to see just how big a difference in pegs there is. Not, not a huge difference, so I wouldn't have to shave too much off, but... There's enough, just enough that it doesn't sit flush in there, because I know this backpack does, like, wham, wham, well, actually, hmm. bit of a, a bit of a gap there, too, like, what? It doesn't go in any further? Doesn't go in any further. Hmm. Might have to go back and alter that, maybe. I don't know. There's Duke, poor melty face Duke, with his missing rifle, his bazooka, and his binoculars. I don't care if I probably should have took the helmet off first to get that in there. Oof, those do sit up really high. Mm. Okay, well, there's that, all that. Let's get Cobra Commander. The real highlight of the show, really, because his figure, in my opinion, flawless. Absolutely flawless. People will complain this has moved too far off to the left, but I think that's it's fine. Let's go and plug his hair dryer blaster into his back. How would that go? we go that way. Okay. Right? Am I looking at that correctly? No, yeah, it goes in that way. Okay, awesome. That's actually very nice. It's a very snug fit in there. I like that. <gasps> yeah, it's not gonna come off anytime soon. Okay, I like that. Let's plug them with, I don't know. Probably this one. This one looks better. I'm sure this is episode specific. These all are. Every accessory, I feel like. They're not just molding random accessories for no reason. Can get that in there. Let's get that in there. Yeah, these blasters work a lot better with him because they're just in the arm. Yeah, I like that. That's. I'm sorry, these figures are just something else. I really wish they would make more of them. Although maybe not like multi-phase Duke over here, but Cobra Commander excellent a standard of excellency that i've incredibly admire and love i mean damn just down to the silver neckline excellence the face excellent that stripe on the helmet he's missing a pants stripe but i feel like that's I'll, I, I can overlook that with everything else he comes with that's my only flaws he doesn't have his pants stripe everything else though excellent i really need to see like more of these 
more of these guys. And I get we get more with the Transformers. Like, I'm definitely picking the Bumblebee up for 100% sure on that. And I'm probably going to go ahead and try and get the uh, Thunder Machine. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I hate that that's the only way we see more of these things. I'm really hoping for more. Like, I'm really hoping we get more with just more two-packs. I don't even know if that line of Transformers is done. I'm thinking they've done every important Transformer besides Optimus Prime. We'll probably see Optimus Prime, and that actually might be the end of it. Maybe one more. We might see Megatron, because we do not ha Oh, no, wait, we have Megatron. It's so uh, Sound Scream Thunder Scream. I don't, I'm not a Transformer guy. The one that's a jet, the one that's a jet. Starscream? Starscream? I think so. The one that's a jet, don't care. Not a Transformer guy. That guy. And if we see that, he'll have to be a Cobra vehicle. He'd probably be, it's, he, <laughs> they're not going to make him like a Night Raven, but they'll probably make him a, there's like a smaller one. I forget the name of it. I was looking the other day. Who would he come with? I think it'd be cool if he came with Destro that's really all the Cobra people are missing because they have Baroness and then the Cobra Commander. You want to look up at the camera? Yeah, look up at the camera. But, uh, and as far as these guys, we'll get Optimus Prime. What would he be? I'm thinking it'd be cool if they made him the troop transport vehicle, but they could also make him a tank, but I don't know how well suited that is, and I don't know what else they could even do. That's a small enough vehicle, you know, it's like small enough for these. Because they don't like to do, like, something they classify as, like, a fucking, like, something big, like the fucking, the HasLab, the plane. They don't like to do something that big. It'd have to be mid-range, like a his tank or, like, the, the Awe Striker. So, I'm thinking it probably may, they'd make him the troop transport that's just slightly big enough to fit the range. And then he could come with two figures just like the Thunder Machine. And what two figures? Well, I'd like to see Gung Ho, me personally. And I'd also like to see Flint. I think that's really what I would need. But I do think we're missing some female Joes. And I don't want to see Scarlet because I don't want to see that real hair. So I'd like to see... Um, I'd like to see uh, Lady J, I guess. And that, But seeing that leads into like what could be a new 2-pack. Because I think a new 2-pack could totally be like Lady J and, and uh, Flint. That'd be a great 2-pack. Um... So maybe like Roadblock and Gung Ho would be good for a troop transport, and then that's the that's the last GI Joe collab with Transformers. Maybe we see more. I really hope they keep this line going and maybe keep like Sunbow accurate kind of colors and make it maybe not make melty faces anymore. But other than that, that's what I'd like to see. I wish I could find his fucking vintage rifle. It, that thing really flew. I'm gonna have to look for it for a while after this shoot. But that's uh, that's my look at this. These are great figures aside from melty face over here. But other than that, everything is perfect. They're perfect down to the last letter. And I would like to see more. Way more. A lot more. More. More of these. A lot. I just... I, I love these O-rings. I love these O-rings. I don't care that there's a million Kickstarters. Look, these honestly cost as much as those Kickstarters. I don't care. Like, these are accurately perfect aside from Melty Face and everything else is fine. I love these colors. I want them to keep going Sunbow route because then that's that feels like this could be the gimmick of this line because they're never going to be perfect and close enough to be the vintage figures. So just make them um, the Sunbow figures and then it's like, well, no one can really complain. Well, except for when you get melty faces. But other than that, really no complaints. So I hope this line continues. We see it after maybe next year. We see it brought back and we see a heavier push into like, okay, everything is Sunbow themed. I'd really enjoy that. Cause that's like perfect for these stupid extras well maybe not this but everything else yeah that's what i like to see anyways that's all for me i hope to come back with more i hope these come back with more till next time uh this your boy hasbro has boy even two and uh I don't know, hit a like on the video if you liked it and drop a comment if you feel like saying anything till next time